Right, I think I'm going to contend for the world's most boring unboxing video with this one. What I've got here is 18 lead acid batteries I've bought for about 500 euros in order to file the fix and try and sell a few old UPS units which are just scattered all over all over the shop. And uh, what we've got is, let's see, 10 9 amp hour batteries, 6 12 amp hour batteries and uh, two 17 amp hour units. I do have more units that take 17 amp hour batteries, but uh, I didn't bother buying more than two since I don't know how many are going to get sold. Well, there we go, all the boxes have been opened, and uh, I did goof up, these are 15 amp hour batteries, not 12, but I, I usually just go by the case size to determine their actual capacity. These are fairly generic HQ brand batteries, and for those who aren't familiar with the brand, they're essentially a European importer of various goods from China. They slap their own name on it and that's that. They do tend to have fairly high quality products though. For instance my monitor mounts over there are HQ brand and they are, while not perfect, they're alright. Very good quality for money. Anyways, the first thing you want to do anytime you buy a new lead acid battery, or not to talk about bulk buying them, you should check the OCV of them because if you get a battery that's got up to less than about 2.1 volts per cell or 12.6 volts for a 6 cell battery you could have gotten a battery which has been stored for very long or was improperly manufactured now these boxes are labeled 10 10 2013 so they shouldn't have been stored for too long but I'm going to check every single battery either way, that's why I opened all the boxes just to have a quick way to probe around so let's go well there we go, most of those measured just fine there were a few which were like 12.55 but I'm going to call those OK. However, this one seems to have been either abused or mismanufactured because it's very depleted. So this thing could either have a shorted cell or just some kind of failure in the, in the cell or it's been discharged somehow if it's been used as a demo example or something like that. Well, I just gave this uh, failed battery a quick jab with my lab power supply and it drew a lot of current and then jumped up right up to 12.5 volts. So there could just have been a little micro short circuit inside of one of the cells which just shorted it out temporarily. And I may try and recharge this thing and see if it lives up to spec it would be nice to be able to just uh, use these things right right out of a box because I can't imagine returns to the, the store which they came from it are a lot of fun and once you've checked your batteries the second thing you want to do is charge them even if they read kind of full on the OCV you always want to charge your lead acid batteries the moment you get them. And if you're lazy like me, you'll just hook up a heap of them in parallel and charge them like that. It's generally not a problem to do it like this. I mean, you get a bonus uh, balancing operation at the same time. But uh, you want to watch out for any sparks when you hook the batteries together because if they are seriously differently charged, if one's got an OCV of 12. Point 9 volts or 13 volts and the others got 12.4 and there could be some current running between them it shouldn't be too much of a problem but yeah you might want to 
keep a check on them if you're dealing with bigger batteries though I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're probably going to end up burning up your leads and then you just let them charge for a while preferably in a well ventilated area that you won't need for a while because you should if you do need to properly let them charge for a good few hours at least until they stop drawing in a significant amount of current and despite being brand new in the box these are drawing about 4 amps and there we go pack number 2 is charging slowly but surely it's now the middle of the night and these are the 12 amp hour packs sitting nicely at 14.6 volts and pretty much no current at all what's that 100 milliamps or so no 200 300 milliamps either way it's pretty good for 6 12 amp hour batteries so I'm going to take the charger off of these and let them rest overnight and then in the morning we'll see how equally they have discharged fresh up on a Tuesday morning Let's see what these guys have got. If we're within about 0.1 of a volt, I'm happy. Thirteen point two. Thirteen point two five. Two nine. Two three. Okay, that'll do. And two six. Well, I couldn't possibly ask for more. These batteries are okay. And have the nine amp hour batteries I charged yesterday, so rested for about as long. Forty point two two. Ah. One, two, three. Two, two. <laughs> two, four. And the final one. Two, two. Well, these guys are practically perfect. Nice. And we've just got to get the rest of them fixed up and. But I can start working on the actual UPS units. That's one of the came with a short of a cell, I left it charging overnight. And I took it out off a charger just a moment ago and it looks alright. It should drop down to about the same level as the other ones. It goes to show just how much check I have on my UPS units. Because I dug this thing out in order to get started. And uh, I thought this was the... 1000 VA unit, but it's actually a 1500 VA unit which takes the 17 amp hour batteries which are still charging. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try another unit, but I, ha I was absolutely convinced this thing which had been standing here in the middle of the floor for a few months was, was a 1000 VA unit. I mean, it's not a bad thing that it's a 1500 VA unit, but it's not what I expected. Hmm. And there we have them. The entirety of my UPS treasure chest finally taken out from underneath a workbench and put somewhere where they're all, all gathered together in one big merry bunch of stuff. It occurs to me that I kind of goofed up when ordering batteries for them because <laughs> Since I thought uh, one of these 1.5 kVA units was a 1 kVA unit, I ordered 6 12 amp hour batteries. But, well, I only have two units which take 12 amp hour batteries, unless you count this huge uh, uh, ancient thing which does. So, 
and I've got three units which take 17 amp hour batteries. Well, four if you count this little thing. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with all my 12 amp hour batteries. But with, with a bit of luck I'll get the old unit there sold as well. Although I kind of regret, regret not ordering more 17 amp hour batteries because there shouldn't be anything wrong with these 1.5 kVA units. However, I am going to need all of my 9 amp hour batteries since every single one of these that <laughs> doesn't run on those will use 9 amp hour batteries, including most of the, this random guff down here. So, enough chit chat. Let's, let's start building all of these up on the bench and giving them a, them a work through and hopefully getting them out on sale soon.